House Oversight Committee has released the full transcript of Hunter Biden's closed-door testimony. The president's son testified on Wednesday. It was an hours-long deposition on Capitol Hill, part of the GOP's impeachment inquiry into Hunter's father, President Biden. House Republicans have alleged the president was involved in his son's business dealings. Biden has denied any wrongdoing. NBC News senior investigative producer Sarah Fitzpatrick joins us with the latest on this. Sarah, good morning. So the transcript of this testimony, it's more than 200 pages long with some redactions. In your reporting, you say it, it underscores the disconnect between what House Republicans have alleged are criminal, criminal actions by Hunter Biden and his five, father and then the testimony that they made public. So break down what we're learning about this transcript. Absolutely, Joe. This transcript is really a fascinating document for several reasons. The first is that it's kind of the first time that we're able to see all the evidence that Republicans say they have gathered. Bank records, memos, messages, emails, and kind of see them lay it all out and ask Hunter to respond. And in many cases, in fact, in all cases, it appears that the conclusions that they were making from those documents uh, were either inaccurate or mischaracterized or just overall kind of taken out of context and unsupported. And so I think we, of course, it is possible that there's still more evidence to come, but it seems unlikely given that the uh, Republicans have talked about Hunter's testimony as the crescendo of this investigation and they haven't indicated what else is coming. Secondly, I think what we saw in this testimony was uh, a real confidence of Hunter Biden. He was very aggressive in his pushing back. He was emphatic about the fact that his father at no point had anything to do with his business dealings, nor did he profit from them financially or otherwise. In particular, there's one email that has been long kind of pointed to by Republicans in which Hunter said that his father was in the room with him. Hunter testified that that was not the case and that he was, he believed that he was very high and in the depths of his addiction at that point. It was something he regretted, but not something that actually occurred. So after everything so, that's happened this week, the transcript release, the deposition, what are we hearing from the chair of the Oversight Committee, Congressman James Comer? So uh, the chairman and other House Republicans are standing firm. Comer told us last night that he believed that Hunter's testimony showed that there was evidence uh, of some of the, uh, the things that they've been claiming and that there were inconsistencies in Hunter's statements versus other witnesses. I think he said that the committee is still moving forward with plans to hold a public hearing, although we're hearing from Republicans that they may not fully support that. So if that actually happens, we'll have to see what that entails and um, if they have the support to make it worthwhile. All right, Sarah Fitzpatrick, thank you so much. We know you'll continue to stay on this and appreciate all of your reporting this week. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.